Hello everyone, my name is Peter Wall. I'm the product manager for encryption and key management here in Oracle Server Technologies. And today I would like to share with you very exciting news about a huge Oracle Keyboard deployment that the Oracle Cloud uh, Foundation Services has built. And for this, I would like to welcome my guest today, uh, Steve Andreasen. Steve, over to you. Hi, Peter. Thanks for having me today. So I'm responsible for operations for the cloud native database platform for the Oracle Cloud Foundation Services, servicing the Oracle Global Business Unit. That's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so you keep the lights on. What's the charter of your group? Sure. So our mission is to operate the best cloud native Oracle database as a service to enable the industry and high margin cloud business models of the Oracle global business units. So our goals are as follows. Firstly, to make it simple to use. We take away the complexity by engineering the cloud platform to, to function with maximum security, and maximum performance. And, we, and secondly, we offer the best product for mission critical computing. Absolutely, yes, we cannot have that. Oh, so I, I see that you have adopted the maximum security architecture. Yes, so we live by the maximum security architecture and we have to we deploy all of this to protect these databases. Notably for transparent data encryption, we have Oracle Key Vault there to manage our encryption keys. I heard that you are managing the keys for 8,000 databases. Um, that's pretty impressive. So where are those databases? I see a world map. What does that mean? Yeah. So yeah, this, this is what's happening. So we are rapidly expanding around the world. So yes, you're right. We manage over 8,000 PDBs, but by the end of this calendar year, we will be managing 100,000 pluggable databases. And these are distributed around the world. So we operate in the US, we operate in Europe, we operate in Canada, we operate in the UK and also in Australia. Yeah, I, I heard that you just onboarded, uh, that you provisioned your data centers in Australia with Keyboard last week. Correct, yes. We have uh, Sydney online already and up and running with customers there and we're just in the process now of bringing online Melbourne. So we have Keyboard running between regions. Oh yeah, that's how your systems look like, right? Um, on the left side, we see those components that the end users are working with, the user interface, the application, and then in the middle, we have the application servers that certainly feed and retrieve data out of the encrypted databases. And that's what we see on the right-hand side. Uh, we see REC databases that are protected with DataGuard and everything is encrypted. So now that we have more than 8,000 of those, how do you do key management? Yes, well, we use Oracle Key Vault to store our encryption keys, to centrally store all of them, to make sure the keys are always available and to protect them. So Key Vault it underpins our business. Every container database, every pluggable database, every data guard is taking advantage of Oracle Key Vault to run this service. So what we have for our deployment model is uh, mm -hmm. in each country, uh, for instance, here in the US, we have Ashburn and Phoenix region. We have uh, Key Vault running in different availability domains in OCI. So different data centers running different instances of uh, the, the Key Vault in pairs, redundant pairs, read, write, and it's replicated uh, across regions. So we have the same capacity, same availability in each region. If we ever have a problem with one region, we can always be assured that our encryption keys are protected and immediately available in another region. Yeah, yeah. so uh, maybe there are a few things that we could explain on this picture. So you're not looking at two four node clusters, you're looking at one eight node cluster that is stretched across two regions in Oracle OCI. And then another thing that is not clear from the picture is that each key vault talks to the other node. So they're all interconnected, meaning if you create mm -hmm. a key in one Key vault, they will be first replicated to the read write peer, but a short moment later, those keys are available everywhere. How did you decide to use Key vault? Obviously, you had a choice, right, when you decided which key, which key management solution to pick. 
for your service. Why did you choose Keyboard? When we moved to OCI and operated the service there, uh, the first thing that, the first rule of OCI is that encryption is not optional, it is mandatory. We must have mm. data encryption. You cannot disable it, right? Those keys are therefore are critical and they must be stored. And so we use Oracle Key Vault to store those keys off the servers into the Key Vault, right? So mm. we must meet our regulatory compliance security mandates you know, we comply with the requirements for the European GDPR, for healthcare, for HIPAA, for, for PCI, for the payment card industry, the SOC 2 security standard, and also for FedRAMP and FISM for the federal government. So, you know, we operate a zero touch environment and so nobody has access to touch the uh -huh. keys. Uh, we operate a zero trust environment. We have separation of duties to prevent administrators accessing uh, key vault. We have designed for data sovereignty, so keys cannot leave a legal jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, we have real-time auditing and alerting by integrating OKV with Oracle Audit Vault, and we've disabled SSH access into Key Vault except for break glass scenarios. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's perfect because the only interface that you need into OKV during, non during normal operations is a browser interface. Correct. Yes. Could you highlight for me some of the unique capabilities of Oracle Key Vault? For a number of reasons, but let me take you through a few of them. So firstly, the native integration with Oracle Database, and it is backed by Oracle support. Secondly, proven reliability with a large customer base. In fact, as some of the end customers migrate onto Oracle Cloud, they were already using Key Vault in the field. So it's got proven reliability and it is you know, proven for in industrial customers that they can they can rely upon Key Vault to store their keys. Another point related to that is that it was designed to seamlessly support some of our key components that we rely upon in our service. So Oracle re Real Application Clusters, Data Guard, Multi-Tenant PDBs, and Golden Gate, all of these natively integrate with Key Vault and we know it works. There's no uh, gotchas or workarounds, it is designed for these components. Another mm -hmm. point is uh, this mandatory encryption. It, 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 it integrates with our API for pluggable databases. Uh, one feature that's really exciting for our customers is the serverless relocating of PDBs between the container mm -hmm. database. Mm -hmm. Complete management, there's a persistent cache to reduce the load on the Key Vault servers in the network. Mm -hmm. You know, complete high availability and fault tolerance through the Key Vault multi-master clustering. Uh, we practice everything as code, so a lot of automation, and we make use of the RESTful API for lights out, mass provisioning at a GBU scale, and it's all mm -hmm. driven by Ansible and GitLab. Um, another big one is uh, online patching capabilities with zero downtime for the database endpoints. And finally, it enables private dedicated on-premises key storage with Oracle Key Vault at custom. Exactly, and there's another use case that I heard customers ask a lot about because many customers don't trust the keys from the cloud provider. They would like to bring their own keys. Mm -hmm. And Oracle Key Vault certainly supports this, right? Very, very easily you can upload a key into OKV and tell your databases now use that key, right? So customers can always really have ownership of their own keys. Absolutely, yeah. So they may be obligated to yeah. store the keys you know, on, on their premises. And so Key Vault provides us with that option to give them that flexibility to bring the key storage on site uh, to you know, integrate with OCI. Oh, that's, very in, that's a very interesting part because we have many customers who um, do not want the cloud provider to manage their keys. So that's, that's a big, that's a big relief. So when you talk about Oracle Key Vault at customer, it would mean that you keep the system running, but it runs on customer premise and the customer owns and manages the keys. Correct, yes. And they your DBAs, your team, there's no way that they could access those keys. Correct. So there are some exciting new features that we introduced in Oracle 18. So in in Oracle 18.1, we introduced the clustering, which has already been um, highly utilized by Steve's team. 
in Oracle 18, OKB 18.2, we introduced the availability on the Oracle OCI marketplace, which allows for very simple and quick uh, click to deploy of keyword in your OCI tenancy. In Oracle Keyword 18.3, we introduced the automated certificate rotation, which allows you to rotate your certificates without database downtime. Are you using these features already? Uh, yes, so we have just started uh, using the uh, Oracle Key Vault from the OCI marketplace. So you know, you know, we're all about automation, mm -hmm. and zero touch, and so you know, we we really are looking forward to making great use of this feature to you know support our global expansion of you know, around OCI's different data centers, uh, and also yeah, we we operate mission critical computing, so. You know, we cannot tolerate downtime. We don't even plan for downtime. And so, you know, online certificate rotation is brilliant. We need this. Our mm -hmm. customers demand this yeah. level of uh, availability from us. And so this is a key feature. And uh, the, uh, the the da moving database credentials into OKV 18.4, you know, we're looking forward to this feature so that we can support putting maintenance uh, uh, credentials into the uh, the, the key vault, you know, such as you know, backups, so that it's secure. All right. Thank you, Steve. I highly appreciate you taking the time. Please go visit the OTN page for Oracle Keyboard, and I would gladly accept your invitations on LinkedIn and follow me on blogs.oracle.com, where I occasionally blog about Oracle Keyboard. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everyone, for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're welcome.